box? I'm trying to make it look like a food truck. Can you make it go beep beep with me? Ready? Beep, 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 beep. Great job. This is a super special food truck for cereal. Me and my friends are collecting cereal. We'll take it to a place that makes sure everyone has food to eat. What's your favorite kind of cereal? Shout it out. Wow, you all like so many different kinds of cereal. This is my favorite cereal, but my mom only lets me have it as a special treat. Is that enough? No way. I'm gonna need a bigger spoon. Yes! Oh, and we also have cereal with raisins in it. 
and square cereal. And oatmeal. Well, I guess that counts as cereal. Who knew there are so many kinds of cereal? Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Ho, ho. Having some breakfast, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. My friends and I are collecting cereal for people who need it. That's a great way to show love. It's true. I know a special way Jesus showed love, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through, ho. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my kiddo rific cupcakes. Look at all these wonderful kids on the cupcakes. There are so many of them. Wait a minute. Are you a kid? Wave your hands up in the air if you're a kid. <laughs> yes, that's all of you. Put your hands down now. <laughs> Today, I've got a story about some kids who wanted to meet someone very special. Do you want to hear it? If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, did lots of important work. They taught people about God and they helped people. Wherever they went, there was always a crowd of people who wanted to learn things from Jesus and get help from Jesus. Wow, that's a lot of people. Everyone wanted to be near Jesus. One day, when Jesus was teaching, many, many people were around him wanting to meet him and get close to him. There were lots of adults, moms and dads and aunts and uncles. There were teachers and doctors and carpenters and fishermen and there were children. They wanted to go see Jesus too. But Jesus' disciples stopped the children from getting near Jesus. Maybe the disciples thought Jesus was too busy to talk to the children. Maybe the disciples thought Jesus was too important to talk to the children. The disciples told the children to stop and go away. The children knew Jesus was special and they wanted to see Jesus too. Jesus was kind and loving to the children. He called them to him and said, let the little children come to me. So they did. Jesus opened his arms wide and the children came. Jesus told the crowd to never stop children from coming to see him because children are very important to him. Did you hear that friends? You are important to Jesus. Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Can you give yourself a hug? Yes! Jesus loves you. Jesus loves everyone. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves all the children, and Jesus loves you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, some people wanted to keep children from going to Jesus, but Jesus wanted to spend time with them because Jesus loves children so much. Jesus loves everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know, I'm gonna make sure that there's lots of cereal in here that children like, because Jesus loves children so much. See you next time.
Be kind and loving to each other. Ephesians 4.32. Be kind and loving to each other. Ephesians 4.32.